Hey guys. Well, hello then. How you doing? I hope you're good. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions, and you are watching Tech Tuesday episode 6. This week we see the Clone Wars come to an emotional end, start the DFB CMF series, and speed build a Z95 headhunter. Cue the news. This is Tech News. Box art and an official release date for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has this week been revealed. A video trailer was uploaded to the Star Wars YouTube channel, finishing with the date October 20th, but was later taken down and followed with the same trailer without the date in. Having not played any LEGO games properly since the Clone Wars, and recently going back to the Complete Saga, which by the way is my all time favourite video game, I am very excited for this game to be released. There is an everlasting joy that comes with playing through levels as different characters to the ones in the films. Fighting Kylo Ren on the Death Star Ruins as Darth Maul will be great fun. I really hope LEGO release a cool promo, maybe like a minifigure, to coincide with pre-order, that would be great. So I'm up late just doing some editing and I thought I'd check the LEGO website as it's now May the 4th. Um, and see what availability they've got because I know on Friday they didn't have much at all so I've wondered if they've like held some stock back for actual Star Wars Day or what so let's go have a look okay so when the promo started on Friday they had the uh, resistance A-Wing there to coincide with that so I'm assuming that sold out okay so they're promoting obviously the A-Wing Starfighter that's on back order the Imperial Star Destroyer, which is like a £650 set. Dio's on back order. These two are pre-orders. Another really expensive set, really expensive. The Tantive's on back order. Okay, the Droid Command is discounted. Back order, back order. These were sales because no one wants them. Wow, Luke's Land Speed is on back order. No Star Wars fans must be desperate if they're buying the Luke's Land Speeder. Uh, back order, back order, back order, back order, microfighters on back order. Okay, so you can get a visual dictionary and the resistance wire microfighter out of stock, yeah, like you thought. Okay, so you can buy key rings, helmets out of stock, Falcon out of stock, stars out. Wow. Wow. All of this out of stock, even the Four plus sets are out of stock. This is mad. ATAP. I was hoping to get the ATAP, but that was out of stock from Friday, so that's a load of rubbish. Even some keychains are out of stock. To me, that's absolutely mad that the only play sets that you can buy and get instantly are those ones. Or, um, well, they're the only play sets you can buy. Wow. Wow. I'm shocked. Uh, how disorganized this seems to be but hey ho thought that was interesting to take a look at also what I've just realized is they've run out of the promos so you can't even get the free gift or purchase on May the 4th which is absurd to me so I was up doing some editing and I was going to go to bed but then I decided I'd just figure I'd stay up because um, the Clone Wars episodes usually get released at 8 o'clock but for some reason it's like 10 to 7 and it's already been up so I was going to go and watch back the first three episodes of the arc and then go to this one or do I just watch it now now it's here I didn't have the patience See you on the other side. I've literally been sat here staring at the screen for the last like 15 minutes. Wow. 12 years ago I saw that film at the cinema and now it's all finally concluded. I have no words. When that final scene cut out and the credits started, my heart just sank like, I can't believe it's over. Star Wars content of the week. Thumbs up for my beautiful singing voice. So 
we've got three parcels this week to open on Mail Monday. Let's start with one that's kind of been sitting in my drawer for a while, or the longest at least. So in here we've got the next CMF series that I'll be collecting and it's five of the Deutschland Fußballbund minifigures so I'm really excited to start collecting those. Oh no, six. There's one more in there. So I'm really excited. <clears throat> next up. We have some more. We've got six in here as well. So hopefully there's not loads and loads of doubles. And the seller was also selling a phase two, episode two style clone trooper for quite cheap. So I picked that up as well. And then the last letter, whole package, we have A Mandalorian Super Commando. Let's move the light here so you can see a bit better. So if you saw last week, I picked up two of these. Um, I really, really like them. I've still got a couple more to come. I'm starting to build up a mini army of these, but the Clone Wars episodes just made me fall in love with these guys. So yeah, happy to have another one in my collection. Didn't come with a jetpack, unfortunately, but I'll just try to pick that up on Bricklink or something. So yeah, that's it for this week's Man Monday. So I've just been watching back season 7 of the Clone Wars uh, to do my season 7 review which will be out hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, yes, yeah, so just taking some notes on it all there. This buildable Darth Maul, I have to say, I haven't stopped just fidgeting with it and playing with it. So maybe I am a fan. Maybe I am a fan after all. Shout out to this absolute legend for editing the Clone Wars and Episode 3 Order 66 together. This is gonna be sick. Oh, mate. So we start a new CMF series this week. It's the Deutschland Fußballbund, uh, the German national football team, I think from 2016. And there's 16 uh, minifigures to collect, one goalie, one of the managers, and then the rest are all outfield players. Um, I do know quite a lot of these players because they have played in England. So I'm really excited to crack these open and get these figures. These figures are really hard to feel for um, because they all come with the football. Um, a lot of them have the same hair piece that are just different colours. So um, yeah, it is very, very random, these ones. So the first one is... First up here we have Ozil, he plays, I think he still plays for Arsenal, but yeah, I know this figure, I know this guy, I mean if these were released a couple of years later we definitely would have got dual moulded legs on these, but the printing looks really really nice, I like the badge on the legs, yeah it looks cool. So next one, oh they all come with a football. So, well, yeah, all come with football by the manager. So, second one is. So, second here we have Andre Schurler, um, a former Chelsea player, I believe. Yeah, same hair, I think, as Ezra, just in blonde. So, that's what I mean. Like, between that and the football, you just can't tell from uh, feeling up these bags on some of these figures because there's no way to tell the colour of their hair. But, yeah, second figure. Third player is... So the third player we've got is Sammy Kadira, who I think plays for, or used to play for at least, Real Madrid. 
um, cool figure. The printing's really nice. I like that, the tan skin. Um, I imagine a lot of these faces um, were used and quite popular because they what really defines these players are going to be the faces. That kind of sounds stupid, but there's so many sort of similar haircuts and stuff that they've really got to differentiate between the to, between the players. So yeah, the base face was really cool. We've got the four stars there to represent their um, four World Cup wins. So yeah, are they dual molded? They are dual molded arms. Yeah, they look really cool like that. Fourth, is so fourth we have Mustafi who I believe plays for Arsenal now he's a defender nice figure he's got like the Obi-Wan hair that's why I recognise it from anyway but in brown but cool figure and not a double which is good So our fifth and final player this week is So our fifth and final player is Thomas Muller, the striker for the German team, gets all the goals when they go to competitions. Perfect if he's on your team, if you're playing against him then God help you. But yeah, great first name as well. Awesome hairpiece. I really like this hairpiece. I don't think it was new to this figure. Really, really cool. I might grow my hair like that just so I can use that with my sig fig. So I think it's fair to say that's a pretty decent start. No doubles. Five new figures. Um, I've known all the players pretty much, I think. So, yeah. Good start. Quarantine is just me sat at my computer trying not to spend loads of money and failing miserably. I'm on Rebrickable and um, I've come across these lightsaber builds by Built Bricks and they are incredible. Um, and he's doing a sale at the moment that ends in the next couple of days. Um, the ones I really like are the Kylo Ren lightsaber and the um, Darth Maul saber. I think it's really cool. And also the Dark saber. Um, I'm just debating whether to buy them individually because they're like about four or five pounds each, um, or you can buy the 25 plus kit and get all of them which is really good value and it's half price at the moment so it's like £60 or like £50 I think it works out to conversion wise um, but I'm just kind of thinking am I realistically going to build all of the other ones am I, am I going to bother with them but yeah still deciding hmm what's this space Z95 Headhunter is a speed build this week so we've got some Rebels on in the background now the Clone Wars is over rip I'm going back and watching all the Rebels episodes so yeah Let's crack on with a speed build. the set ironically just as this 501st set has been finished built then there's Rex but yeah is it worth what I paid for it probably not but it's cool to have it and the figures are really cool I do really like the figures so yeah that's the speed build C95 Headhunter I do want to go and get the Arc 170 and the V19 Torrent um, and the Y-Wing Bomber and then I think I would have completed the Clone Wars fleet I think but yeah, cool set. Thanks for watching this week's Tech Tuesday. Make sure you leave a comment, give a like or a dislike, whatever you fancy. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions. Thanks guys, see you next time. Oh, before you go, if you enjoyed this video, how about clicking that subscribe button right here? Catch last week's episode of Tech Tuesday up there. Or if you fancy something different, try this one. See you next time.